we're noticing and what people are saying to us and why this process has been created is because some, somewhere along the line, the system is failing the humans. Somewhere along the line, risk assessments and compliance and insurance and all the, all the systems that operate inside corporations are replacing the humanity that's needed to, for people to thrive. How can we place people's well-being and their family's well-being at the centre of people's work days? So that's some of the conversations that we've been having and the absence of it has been, um, yeah, high burnout, people sacrificing their families in order to work, um, particularly with high level and like C-suite execs women returning after having children, there's no, there's no barrier, there's no entry place back into the workplace um, at the level that they have, that they want to work at and that they're able to work at. The challenges of being a working mom are, one, the guilt that come with it, and two, is balancing everything. So, over the last two days, we run two dialogues on the barriers towards living a sustainable life and working sustainable um, in sustainable ways um, and then looking at the solutions for that. If we spend time, if we sit down for 90 minutes like we've done twice over the last two days and we give, we bring people through a process whereby they become more aware and they have conversations around the, the physical and then the internal and invisible drivers of, of healthy and unhealthy behaviour in an organisation. The more aware they become of them, inevitably the more aware they are of how to address them. And what comes up time and time again is like, how can we bring that humanity back? How can we place people, so if we want to put a design centre thinking hat on it, how can we actually place people at the centre of the culture of organisations? The difference with what I'm experiencing today is the place. Oh my God, it's just amazing. I was surprised at even what I became aware of. It's just been so really deep, very deep emotionally.